Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat. This video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, it is free of charge, so there's no reason for you not to download it, go ahead to the link in the description box, download it, thank me later, and... This video is sponsored by my boy Matt. Definitely check his apparel out on Instagram at We All From W E A L L F R O M. Now, this Saturday on Fox is the premiere of Premier Boxing Champions. And Jamal Charlo is going to be defending his interim 160 pound title against Matt Korobov. Now, Matt Korobov is the replacement for Willie Monroe Jr. Willie Monroe Jr. got pulled from the fight because he had a positive Vada drug test for being on, on the finest juices. And I covered that in another video, so definitely check the channel out for that. But my question is, is Matt Korobov a better option than Willie Monroe, period? My personal opinion, I would say yes, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, Willie Monroe Jr., Southpaw, slick. But for me, with Jamal Charlo, you have to put something on Jamal Charlo to make him think. And slickness is not going to make Jamal Charlo think. Like, you got to touch his chin with something to make him think about running in and just walking you down. And Willie Monroe Jr. is not known for the power. Hasn't knocked too many guys out. And in big fights, he hasn't really shown grit or metal that I, I would approve of. So I was skeptical about that fight to begin with. Now, Matt Korobov, he's he's known to the hardcores as the guy that lost to Andy Lee for a 160-pound championship. And Matt Korobov is the guy that Peter Quillen ducked and dropped his belt. And Peter Quillen... His career hasn't been the same since that. And I know Peter Quillen did that because Al Heyman asked him to because it was basically a cold war at that time. And Al Heyman didn't want Peter Quillen to face Matt Korobov. Now, me personally, back in the day, I thought Peter Quillen would have beat Matt Korobov. Matt Korobov at that time would have been a difficult puzzle for Peter Quillen, but I felt like it was nothing that Peter Quillen couldn't handle you know, being a champion. So Matt Korobov got some, you know, he got some some street cred, some some stripes on him. And the reason why I like Matt Korobov over Willie Munro Jr. uh when it comes down to being an opponent for Jamal Charlo is Matt Korobov has fought as high as one sixty eight. So he he's not a small he's not a small guy, number one. Number two He's crafty and he can he got a little more crack than Willie Monroe Jr. And I think Matt Korobov is gonna show a little bit more grit going into this fight against Jamal Charlo. Now, how was he in terms of, of fighting shape? I don't know. Was he training for another fight before he got the call? I don't know. Now we all know watching Willie Monroe and his social media that he was training very hard for the fight. But my issue with Willie Monroe Jr. is more God-given ability than anything else. And what I mean by that is power. Is he going to be willing to sit in the pocket with Jamal Charlo and get his respect? I, I would have had serious questions about that, but I think Matt Korobov is better equipped to do that and try to get his respect. Now, do I think either guy's going to beat Jamal Charlo? No. But I do think Matt Korobov is going to be the better competition for Jamal Charlo and a little bit more of a difficult puzzle to figure out than a Willie Monroe Jr. 
Now, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.